How's it going everybody and welcome to another movie review vlog and this time around I'm going to take a look at another, well, lesser known Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. First off, I want to apologize for taking so long to complete this list, mostly because I had some personal stuff to take care of, but at the same time, I figured better late than ever. And now I can get on with do reviewing a whole bunch of other movies that I plan on vlogging in the following months to come. So with that said, let's get on with the review. Collateral Damage is the 2002 motion picture flick which stars, of course, Arnold Schwarzenegger in an action movie where he has to avenge his m wife and son from being killed in a by a Colombian terrorist attack. And he goes all the way to Colombia to get his revenge. And this is, this is one of his more lesser known movies, mostly for a couple of reasons. One of which being this was his last motion picture before he went he was sworn in as governor of California. <laughs> and for those of you who live in California, you all know how that turned out with him. And another being, this movie was originally supposed to be released in the late 2001, but because of the theme of a terrorist attack in, on American soil, especially when there was already a terrorist attack in 2001 in America, I don't want to go into details with that one, uh, they decided to push it back to February of 2002. So, you know, Good job. But just because they had to push it back just to save their own skin doesn't mean the movie was all that good to begin with. For one thing, Arnold Schwarzenegger does an okay job, but you can kind of tell that this is the kind of movie where he was just kind of ruffling around and wrestling with a lot of the uh, side actors and villains. And uh, there was the, in the action scenes with Arnold Schwarzenegger are pretty much subpar to say the least. Like I said before, he just did a lot of- I've seen play fights with three-year-olds that were more believable than this. A lot of the side characters here were pretty much short-lived because he had a slew of small cameos from John Turturro, John Leguizamo, and anybody else who was a- someone who had somewhat of a Hispanic role. Uh, pretty much fell sh short, I guess, and they pretty much had a small role to begin with. A lot of the supporting- it seems like a lot of the extras and supporting characters did a lot more than Arnold Schwarzenegger did. And this is actually the more disappointing of the action, of the uh, action genre franchise. And it clearly shows. I was pretty much more, less than 30 minutes into this movie when all the action and everything else started kicking off and I was, to be honest, pretty bored. I mean, throughout the entire movie time frame, I vacuumed my house, <laughs> made lunch, and of course just went back, and of course just looked up a whole bunch of other YouTube videos that were far more interesting than this movie. <clears throat> so yeah, there's not much to say. To say, I mean, there's a lot of just boring scenes and a lot of people just doing boring stuff. The movie kind of just pushes things along with the characters and everything else, but at the same time it just wasn't entertaining at all to say the least. There's also a bit of a twist in near the end with one of the villains and everything else. I just don't want to give it away if you guys wanted to watch it, but it's kind of... It's kind of one of those, oh yeah, I should have seen that coming from a mile away. But overall, I would have to say this movie is, of course, pretty boring, pretty bland, and of course, just another filler for a bunch of actors to go to Colombia or whatever, South or Brazil or whatever South American country for a week just to film all these scenes then to head on back. It's just a quick paycheck for a lot of these actors, and to say the least, it's not going to be mem memorable, and it's going to be quite forgettable after you watch this movie. Which is why I give this movie a meager half star out of five. <sighs> Thank you all for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this movie, uh, Flick. Um, I've up I just wanted to give you a quick update real fast that uh, I've updated my Patreon account, so, that t so instead of the $2 a month, for a lot, which may be a lot of money for a lot of you guys, I've kind of reduced it to only one dollar a month. And if you guys have any future movie requests for me to uh, vlog about, feel free to uh, sign. Feel free to add your requests in on Patreon, of course, for the low price of one dollar a month. I'm trying to get this off. The, I'm trying to get that off the ground and also find more things. But at the same time, I'd like to hear what you guys thought about the movie if you happen to watch it or not. And with that said, I will see you all next time.